Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, as you can tell, I'm a little bit quiet. Um, and I'm also a little bit tired, because I just got off of an over... <laughs> I've been basically working all day. And I finally found time at like 4am at night to record this video. So, let's get into it. So, today's video... I decided that because Nene is in a state of kind of just like waiting for the next thing. Uh, well, there's a CCC event, but if you've already done the event and you're waiting for the next story event, then there's not a lot for you to do. But what you can do is that you can actually start grinding early for the Castoria stuff. If you want to maybe tempt fate and get your stuff ready so you can have her at full ascension and maybe max skills. Though the max skill part is a little bit tough. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Comment down below how you plan to handle this because I think a lot of people actually prefer to not grind for the servant in advance, which is actually something I like to do, is I don't actually grind them in, in, in advance because that kind of feels like I'm going to... Um, it kind of feels like I'm tempting fate and saying I am going to get them, and that means that no matter what, I am going to get them. And... Until we get that pity, that's just not something that can happen. So whatever your plan of action in terms of summoning for her goes, I would like to hear it. And okay, so let's get going. Let's start. Uh... So this is Castoria, by the way, coming for the anniversary, as you would expect. Um, Her skills are actually not too bad in terms of what you need. So for Ascension, you're going to need Idrisil Seeds. You're going to need Forbidden Pages, you're going to need the Spirit Root, you're going to need the Comet Shard, which is probably the hardest thing to get for most people, and of course Caster Stuff. Um, and then for Skill Reinforcements, you need Forbidden Pages, Idrisil Seeds, Genesis Egg, Comet Shard, and the, obviously the Crystallized Lore, but everyone needs that. But anyway, let's start with the Ascension first, because actually, funny enough, a lot of these skills kind of go into each other. So, eat your soul seals. Well, I guess we may as well start from easiest to hardest. <laughs> okay. Oops, I accidentally closed something that should not be closed. Let me go here. And go, oh no. Pause. Okay, so this is again on the NA side of the server. The best drop rates for the seed of Aegisville are in Babylonia, the fallen Babylonia. Sol Solemn, the quiet forest. Solemn hideout. Sala, the Shimosa, the rice field, and the riverside town in Agartha. This is only in NA because obviously we don't have all the stuff on JP yet. But in terms of Babylonia, which is the best one, may as well show it off real quick how it looks. You should be able to see it right here. This is where you need to go. Uh, this is the best rate for them. This is where I think you fight a bunch of these dudes. I don't remember what they are because it's been so long since I've had to grind them. These thingies. There you go. Um, the drop rate for this one is at, uh, I forget how this chart works. Okay, so the drop chance here is a 49.5% chance of dropping. So in every, basically, in theory, if you spend around 40 AP, you should be able to get them, and that's assuming that the AP is at 20, so that means every other two runs or three runs, depending on your luck, basically, making it the best one to go to. Uh, Solemn, and funny enough, all of them are kind of all the same. The one in Solemn, the Quiet Forest, which is, oh god, right here. See, Quiet Forest, similar, except for now they're bronze instead of silver, so maybe they're slight. Oh, the, that last gray wolf is actually pretty hard to take down, now that I look at them. They start so innocent, and then they jump so high at the end. It has the same rate, though. It has about the 48% 40, uh, chance, and they all kind of say the same. Salem, the next one in Hideout, is 45% chance, and I think in Shimosa, that's when it starts to go down by a drastic margin, where it's a 39.7% chance. And all these um, specific nodes are like 20 AP, 20 AP, 21 AP, 20 AP, 20 AP. So really the best one that you would want to go to is the Babylonia one. The only reason you wouldn't want to go there is for some reason you don't have access to Babylonia. Which I think most people should because Babylonia takes place before, yeah, 
you, it, it, you get that one first. So it shouldn't be too hard to get Seed of Aegisol. I think I have over like 300 or 400 Seeds of Aegisol, so I don't need it. But if you need to go, Babylonia, the Fallen Babylon, or as I think we call it over here, the Abolished Metropolis Babylon. Just look for this specific marker. Should cost 20 AP, and it should be all writer. Good to remember. So next, that's see the Regis Earl. Next, we have the Forbidden Change. Now, the best places for Forbidden Pages are in NA, again. And again, this is by drop rate, not by AP and drop rate, which is something, I guess, completely different. I don't really pay attention to that. I just pick drop rate and see which one is the best drop rate. <laughs> but anyway, we have uh, Shinjuku 2 Chrome which is number one, followed by London and Hyde Park, followed by, uh, this is actually not in NA yet, it's coming at the end of the year, but it's in Haiyin Kyo, the aristocrat's residence. And then next is the Caldea Gate on Friday for Caster's Expert, and then it's advanced. <laughs> so let's look at Shinjuku, because Shinjuku is always here. So this is what it would look like, the Shinjuku 2 Chrome, the fight is against spell books. Spell books are the number one basic thing to drop it. And I guess you could also farm, in theory, the Bloodstone tier, but really you're here for the Forbidden Pages, which is dropped by the spell books. So it just this is actually just kind of annoying because it actually has a boss that is different from <laughs> the spell books. But if you use a Berserker, it's not too bad. Next, Hyde Park, since this is the second one. We have skeletons, spell books. Yeah, skeletons and spell books. Actually, similar in that they have Lancer and uh, Caster with each other. So you could technically farm bones here if possible, and the AP cost is 20. Alright. And obviously, the, the gates are the gates. You should know what those are. <laughs> but anyway, it's Shinjuku 2 Chrome. It's 21 AP. Hyde Park is 20. And then the high Co one is 21, and then it's 40 and 30 because it's expert and advanced. Now let's see, in terms of um, the drop chance, it is a 30% drop rate. <laughs> so you're expected to get it every 670 AP. You should, in theory, maybe get one. Yeah, not the greatest. And then the next one, Hyde Park, isn't too much better. It's at 26% chance drop rate, followed by 24, 20, and then 15. I think these Forbidden Pages are actually probably some of the most annoying things to grind, which is why I always look forward in raids. I actually think the best way to grind is to kind of just do raids and do occasional events where, for whatever reason, it's very easy to get a certain... Um, skill um which is something i'll bring up a little bit later when we're talking about the eggs because in the summer event they're the best place to get eggs is actually in the summer event um but again during times where there's literally nothing you may as well do it and it's always available so you kind of gotta live what you, what, you, what you got so not the greatest thing for forbidden pages if you're grinding for forbidden pages a lot of units use forbidden pages so in general, it's always nice to have as much as you can. But it is a pain in the ass to actually grind them if you're doing it. I have a similar <laughs> to the last one. I think I have like somewhere around 500 forbidden pages. <laughs> because I hoard them like some kind of rat waiting for my chance to use them. I really should use them a little bit more. Well, that's neither here nor there though. All right, next this is the toughest thing we may as well go here because it is the co oh i didn't actually look up spirit root because it's spirit root spirit root has to be like the most blit item to go out of your you'll just randomly get spirit roots and it's not that big a deal but for spirit roots the holy city in camelot is the best um i may as well just show the holy city and then not show any of the other ones it has the best chance at a 12.1 percent chance do not grind for this i'll just say right now it is so crazy easy to get spirits that you don't need to actually go grinding it 
it drops from the bronze spriggan. You get plenty from event shops, so if you're actually running low on spirit roots, I would just say hold on and just kind of wait. Because over time you'll just get so many spirit roots because not a lot of units actually use spirit root. So if you're going to be grinding for any of these, I would say don't do it for the spirit root. Just because it's not worth it and you will be drowning in them, I swear. Anyway, into the more important ones. The Comet Shard. Now the Comet Shard is unfortunately mostly found in Olympus and Atlantis. Because it's one of the newer drop, um, one of the newer materials. Also, very hard to actually get <laughs> because it's a 12. Spirit Root is hard. Of course, Fragment of the Twinkling Star is also going to be very hard. It's a 12.7% drop rate even at Olympus. So, yeah, just to show it, this is the one that you would kind of want to grind for it. It's not doesn't look too bad to grind, but at 12.1% chance of drop 12.7 percent chance of dropping you or would be dropping at least 166 ap for a chance at one and that's assuming at 21 stamina and the rest don't fear no better so i'm not even going to mention them um yeah it's rough really rough and thankfully you don't need you actually do need a lot you need 35 total to get maximum but thankfully castoria is so good that even at level 9 skills, or level 8 skills, I should say. She's going to be perfectly fine, so you can kind of hold off. The egg is probably the more important thing, because you need more eggs than I think you need. Actually, no, you need more... You need more common shards, but I digress. Common shards, just like I mentioned with the, the spirit root, are probably best to wait to see if they're a part of a raid, or if they're part of a shop, or if they're inside of a... Um, Lotto at some point. I forgot Lotto is also why I have so many of certain materials because <laughs> it really helps to grind them out in Lotto. But yeah, in Olympus, the Machina Corridor. And if you want to see just to know the other four places it drops the best, it is Hanging Gardens at Olympus, it is Nemesis Island at Atlantis, and Atlantis Sailing Points. Those are the four. The best one I mentioned is the 12.7, the rest are 12.1, 12%, and 11.8, so either way, your AP, you're going to be using a lot of AP if you are grinding for these. And finally, the Egg of Truth. The best place to get it is actually in a place that we don't have, which is the one that's coming in December. But other than that, we have uh, in Yuga, I believe it is called, the Indian Lost Belt. Oh man, where is it? Bishu... No... Come on, where are you? Uh... Deval. This is your best place to get them, basically. And it is at a 12.2% chance. So, 171 AP in theory to get one drop. If you're luckier, who knows? Not not the greatest of chances and in land of eternity and northern sacred mountain which is up here also has it egg of truth here we go and then here land of eternity even though you need a lot um funny enough the most recent um grind quest that we just actually had the what was it called i can't believe i hunting quest yeah there we go i was about to look it up the most recent hunting quest is probably your best chance of getting a bunch of eggs real quickly before her um for her banner. Post banner though, I would just suggest waiting for um the summer event because there is a note in there that drops a lot of eggs. So just kind of wait and hold off on that. But again, if you want to badly go for it, Deval, Northern Sacred Mountain and the land of eternity are your best bets with the vol being the best of what we have currently followed by northern sacred mountain and land of eternity and this is all stuff you can in theory do if you are badly waiting um uh yeah so i always they have a problem with the golds being too rare i think it's been like that for a while 
Um, I hope that eventually they do address it because it is a really big pain in the ass that so many of the gold ones are so hard to get still, especially for new materials. But again, as we're waiting for her banner, which is going to come out in still at least over two weeks time, if you have some time to go, some time to kill, some stamina to spare, you may as well try and grind it if you're missing some of these materials. If there was any that I would say you should probably go for immediately that has a decent chance of getting it, go for the Forbidden Pages. Because in general, a lot of units use Forbidden Pages. You should be able to get Yudra Soul Seeds pretty easily, Spirit Roots pretty easy, and then the other ones are hard enough, but they're going to be in event shops. So kind of wait for that is my general opinion, and that's what I do, and that's how I keep myself sane. The only time I ever grinded crazy for a unit was Scotty when she came out because I didn't expect to pull her so I didn't save any of her material and that was a pain in the butt and it was really tough which is why I did this video in general if you hey you're looking for these material this is where you can find them go with God if you decide the grind for them I'm not until I know for sure I already have eggs but that's because other units use eggs and that was my best chance of getting eggs so I think I have currently 44 eggs um, compared to the 200s and the 400s of the other materials I have I only have a very acceptable 44 eggs but yeah that's the end of the video everyone I hope it was either helpful or at least you know damn those are really the rates I'm not actually gonna grind at either way if you decide to not grind, if this video helped you decide not to grind it, I'm glad to help. If this video decided to be like, hey, I actually now know where to grind, I'm glad it helped. And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. I'm going to go to sleep after I upload this. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Bye.